Hello, sweet souls. I have a message from a mother or a grandmother. A grandmother to be very specific. Okay. This was a dream that I had last night. 138 is very significant. I'm not sure if that is like the room that someone was in, the time that someone transitioned, or what. Okay. But they are wanting you to know that life is, you know, it's a part of life. It's for them to pass away. It's, one, there's two things that's guaranteed in life, and that's life and that's death. Okay, so this person has transitioned. I'm sorry. Dry your eyes, I'm sorry. That's the song that my son is playing in the background. Next is apology. Okay, they're wanting to know if you would accept their apology. Someone's grandmother apologized for leaving them okay she was a very important figure in your life this is I'm getting like the maternal side grandmother okay it was here for you it happened in order for you to grow okay this grandmother, maternal figure, passed away in either the summertime or in the winter time. So that can go for, for either one. So with the dream that I got, they she was apologizing for leaving, letting you know that growth is here twice. I'm just now noticing that. It was for you to help the bloodline grow. Okay, that was the entire reason of it, like the purpose behind it. Okay, and so we have the fourth house popped out. So the fourth house that represents your mom, your home, your car, your beginning, and your home life. Okay, now they're letting you know that you're their angel you were their angel while they were alive and now they're your angel as in a spirit guide angel okay if you are needing help with anything in your life all you have to do is call them and ask for her to help you pertaining to your home your car your home life like any sort of situations and there she was saying to be very specific about what it is that you're asking for they she's now your angel so she is here to help you grow okay i'm getting that she passed away from well health complications okay then we have cancer so she died from cancer it was something that happened fast um yeah see a sudden loss from the health complication okay i'm getting also that she was going to the doctor and she was prescribed the wrong medicine. Okay. These also, these um, oncologists, they instantly go for radiation, chemo, those sorts of things. And that's not even it. There are holistic remedies to heal. Okay. And this was something that with my grandmother passing, that was something that helped me tap into it. Because I honestly felt like she she just gave up. She signed a DNR and she was just like, do not resuscitate me. I'm ready to go. I've lost my husband. I've lost my son. I've lost my daughter. 
and I am just over and I'm battling this cancer and I am just ready to go. So that is what the apology is for. Of course, like I said, you're like it's guaranteed that you're going to live and die. But she is wanting you to forgive her for just giving up. There could have also been some infection that spreaded due to the medicine that they were prescribing her. Okay. Some procedure could have um, caused this infection. There was some type of infection, but there was also cancer as well. Okay. And yeah, change. She's letting you know, like change is not always comfortable, but. Even if you're feeling like you're not yourself, you have not been yourself since she has passed away. She is letting you know that she is sorry for leaving you. That you, you know, is like in the dream I seen like instantly. As soon as you call on her, then she's there. It's like she's waking up and just coming to, you know, to just come to your rescue for help. And I'm going to keep it solid. This was her letting you know, like, I'm going to help you regardless. Okay. Um, now, as far as... As far as names, we're going to get to that. But we have shapeshifter so this is now someone being your spirit guides okay you could have felt like your life only had meaning because they were a part of it they were a part of your upbringing okay we have something about family pictures could be significant as well And then we have Rainbow Child. So this is someone who was born between the 80s and the 2000s. You were her angel and now she is your precious angel. Okay. The grandmother, that's the backbone. That's the one that's loyal to the family. That's, you know, there for everyone. Okay. Um, now I am going to first off before I even pull any letters, I'm going to say I seen I was like repeating in the dream someone's name with a C, but I could not remember the name that starts with a C. Okay. But right now we are going to focus specifically on the grandmother's name. Now I got Nani and Big Mama. So that is like black people and white people names that they give their grandmother. Okay. The great grandmother, you know, those either one grandmother, great grandmother. So again, guys, take this. However, I specifically seen my great grandmother in my dream last night, but I'm going to shake this cup and see what letters fall out. Why? could have been asking why did this did this tragedy happen suddenly yep look why and then the doctor's appointment
F. Frankie. Health complications. My cat is messing with my altar right now. She's the rest that y'all need to clean her off. But we're going to bring Granny to the table. And that's crazy because my cat literally was just on my altar and knocked everything over. And that is where I have my grandmother while I'm doing this message. Okay, that is just even more of a confirmation. My grandmother's name was Frankie and here's the F. May I have names, please? Names pertaining to this grandmother. H. So we have two Y's out here. This could be first or last name. We have two K's. We have M, or is this a W? No, they say M. That's crazy. Both. <laughs> Okay, anyways, shut up. Just keep going. All right, B. And Z. H. I don't know if I said H. Another Y. So, I don't know if you have been asking, why did you leave me? Like, why, why, why? P. T I pity what or someone's name is like Pittman pity is here but Pittman could be significant It's like she didn't want pity. She didn't want some, what? No, bro. <laughs> No, bro. See, I knew this was going to be difficult as fuck for me to motherfucking read. I fucking knew it. I knew this was going to be hard. I just seen fuck. When I looked down at the bottom of the cup, it was like fuck. So somebody did not take this, this too well. Yep, Grandma GM just fell out. You done D U N.
Ew. DJ, TJ, TJ, DJ. Dump. So it's like someone didn't want you to dump, like to dump their their burdens onto you I don't like this cuz fuck that I'm pretty sure if anyone here you would very much rather We have DD, so there's two D's. I'm gonna just leave all the letters that fell out here. But pity is definitely sticking out to me. Mm. Pity and Grandma GM. Whew. Okay, let's finish the message. All right, someone's grandma. What would you like? It's like they're free now. They don't have the the pain and the suffering. Loving and nurturing and being compassionate with you as you were growing. And yeah, nostalgia. The memories. They're grateful for the memories that you two have shared. So what I see is their decision to, I'm getting to just give up or maybe some didn't give up, but I know specifically that definitely like hits. Okay. They made the decision because they didn't want pity. They didn't want to be a burden, but it really caused more of a uh, um a disharmony in your life so again that is why they are asking if you would accept their apology they're watching you from an external field so there it's like they're watching you in the 3d i mean beyond the 3d
They made the decision to go outside. And yeah. Mm, that is crazy. You could have isolated yourself once this decision was made. Like, you know, making the decision to isolate from the world. To just, you know, just give in. Just let me go. That was their wishes. Okay. It may have caused confusion in your life. Again, it was you know, hard for someone. It was hard for a lot of us whenever our grandmother or great grandmother left. Okay. But this divine intervention, this was like literally a part of their wish. Someone did not want to continue to suffer. Yeah. Yeah. Communicating with you from the shadow side, from the, from a different dimension. What did I say? Somebody no longer wanted to be here suffering. Being bound to this, to this health issues. And that shit, like I, I really, it took me some time, but we really like have to understand that, you know, we have decisions to make in life just as well as other people have decisions to make in life. Yeah, see? You're receiving an apology. As you're growing into your north node, they're helping you. Get on, like, into your purpose. What did I say? Helping someone grow into their purpose. To keep the lineage going. Mm. Clarity on their decision. Because I know as soon as I found out that my grandmother did a DNR, do not resuscitate, I was like, what in the total fuck? would make you want to do that you sit here and tell me to fight and continue on and then you are literally giving up They're watching you from a higher dimension. 
and they're bringing things into your life that like bringing a balance into your life. To help balance things out. Look, awakening. Them leaving, that was a part of their wish, but it was also to awaken within you. Wow, your fucking higher self. Someone is a chosen one. It's like they, your grandmother knew. From the shadow side, communicating with you the cycles of life. Look, spirit guides. Now you have this grandmother as a spirit guide. Helping you to face your fears. It's just like I'm hearing someone say it's just like when someone gets pregnant in the family and then someone end up dying or if it's like right before or right after you know it's like that person is to continue on the family legacy that you know that sort of thing mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, let's see. What message do you have, Granny? What is the message that the grandmother has? Open your mind and explore new possibilities and new opportunities. She could be curious if you are going to accept her apology or not. Yeah, see? Girl talk. Yes, someone does accept the apology. I see yes on her shirt. Okay, being mindful of other people's decisions as well as your own. Okay, knowing that you are loved. A or B could be significant.
Now, these names, I mean, these letters, these names that I mentioned, this could be your name, their name. You know, I did mention their name, but, you know, take it however. Wow, air sign woman, Libra to be very significant. <laughs> you could be this air sign woman. Or they are an air sign woman. Take it however. The grandmother is an air sign woman. I mean. Alright, what else, Granny? What else you want the babies to know? They want you to see your potential to succeed and conquer any challenges that you may face. Okay. And then we have grave. Talking from the grave. That is crazy. Living in the moment. Moving on from this. Being happier. Okay, we have M or N. We have U or V could be significant. <clears throat> y or Z is significant. Y and Z is here for sure. M is also here, so M is significant. B is also here with the letters. Okay, someone's grandmother could be a Gemini cuss, or maybe you're this Gemini cuss. And there go my Libra. Libra cuss. So if this grandmother or you're not an air sign, then someone's an air sign cuss. Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius cuss. And heartbroken behind this but they're talking to you To help you transcend obstacles or to help you prepare for a new phase in your life or to help you learn and expand with growth here twice. So this is what Granny is showing up for. Telling you to be brave. Step up to every challenge with courage. Even if you're feeling abandoned. Heart to heart conversation.
talk to her about whatever this your concern is pertaining to your path. She is expecting for you to communicate. Someone is literally, either you were feeling like she was a gift to your life or she is going to help you along your, your path, blessing you. So if y'all receive some type of blessing after you communicate with this grandmother, then honey, you better know it's seven cents. She's sending in a reward for her precious baby. Yeah, see, her concern was, you know, if you would accept or deny the apology, but someone accepted the apology. She has been in your life since you were a child. So, yeah, this is definitely grandmother energy <laughs> for sure. Maybe if you guys are going through a separation, then you're needing to talk to her. You wasn't expecting the heartache, the pain. Shower. Thank you. Um, unwelcome feelings, unwelcome changes in your life. And that's what she's talking about. Okay. You weren't expecting this, the unwelcome things you could have felt unwelcomed in your family, but you knew that this was one person that you could count on. And now that they're gone, now that she's gone, yeah, look, now that she has withdrawn, you're feeling powerless, like you don't have a sense of direction. But that's not, that's not what she's, no. That is not the ideal. I don't know if it's maybe you're apologizing to her. It really just depends on like 
how you're feeling about this, but I'm more so getting like Just letting you know, I got you regardless of whoever. Yeah, see, someone fearing of the unknown now that she has walked away. Disappointed. Okay, so yeah, this is her saying this. At first, I was like, okay, I don't know if this is you. Like, you had a concern and you were like, okay, I don't know if... You know, she's going to forgive me because I was angry. But no, this is her. Okay, your concerns. Being restless, not able to sleep. Afraid of the unknown. Okay, her abandoning you or disappointing you or walking away from you. And she's wanting to know if you will accept it or not. Would you accept the apology? Okay, I'm seeing stopping the pattern of family issues as well. Due to someone's lack of accountability or someone's corruption. So someone could be very much so corrupt. Okay, yeah, if you're feeling drained or just like you're ready to give up, you're tapping out, you know, th that sort of thing because of some uphill battle, especially if this is pertaining to money, all you got to do is reach out for help. She got you. Dreams do come true. There is abundance. Clearly seeing that you're going to rise above any disaster. Now, I don't know if there was like some with this um, corruption, someone could have been doing magic to do some shit. Somebody was being reckless doing magic just so that they can get some sort of achievement. Earth sign challenging their tradition. with bright ideas. Heartache, trauma, and sorrow. And then we have letting go of grief. Yep, what I said, somebody could have been doing some shit to sacrifice. Here's a peaceful resolution as someone is letting go of grief. But somebody very much so sacrificed someone. So if y'all have people in your family that was like, um, yeah, yeah, y'all would know. Hmm. If y'all got people in your family and, mm. Let me see what's going on with this family picture. Family picture. Family pictures.
Deceit for success. Mm. You could be looking at her picture and it's bringing you happiness. Because not everybody family is fucked up as mine, but I'm definitely seeing that here. Whoever um, sacrificed it, they now fucking regret it for being reckless. And there go the grandma helping you to see the truth about some manipulation. Hmm. Manipulating bad news. I, I really don't even want to go into that. I promise you I don't. What else, grandmother? What else, granny? What else does the collective need to know? If you're not reaching out and you're like feeling burnt out and drained, you need to work with your grandmother. What? Boy, baby, listen. I can't make this shit up even if I fucking wanted to. Somebody definitely was making deals with the fucking devil. And sacrificing the motherfucking grandmama. And that's the goddamn truth. On the other note, I'm saying the grandmother knew that someone was a high priestess. They knew that someone was um, was going to grow into being intuitive and being um, what is that? a witch, I guess you could say. Okay. Um, the truth about like shit hitting the fan. Some shit is being illuminated about who the fuck ever. This somebody that is like, <clears throat> they absolutely fucking regret sacrificing their goddamn grandmama. I can tell you that much. That's crazy. I'm, I'm just. Superficial success. <laughs> That's funny. Let me just pull some other cards because I just don't. 
All right, Granny, what you got for the collective? Do you still dare to listen when you should have been talking from the jump? Letting go will teach you wisdom to be more selective with the people that you are around. Breaking you down just to build you up. If this caused a depression spirit, then keep going. All right, we have Thoat Chakra, Moon and Capricorn. Someone could have been going through some sort of heartache. Maybe their person was cheating. To whom much is given, much is required. Yeah, somebody... Um, if your person was possibly, like I said, if someone went through a separation, then, you know, you talk to your granny about that. She really does. Yep. Your ex-husband. She really does love you when you don't have to question it. When a man loves a woman, that is definitely an old song. Percy Sledge. Seven, eight, nine could be significant. Look at this. Never allow another person to make you feel uncomfortable, especially not in your home. And look, seeing it in your dreams, same shit I just said. I just seen, you know, our communication was through dream state, okay? Thank you, angels, for sending me my... Sending my prayers to the universe, to source... Teaching a, ma a masculine that's low vibrating. Teach them exactly how it is supposed to be done. And that's what this song is talking about. The end of troubles. Yep. 
live life with no regrets. Yeah, you could be feeling defeated by someone's reckless actions. But you keep pushing. Keep pushing your power, your purpose, your promise, and your prosperity. Keep going. Yeah, someone could definitely be getting over a broken heart. But it's you releasing karmic energies. And going towards your divine mate. Gemini Cancer. Pay attention to the birds. Speaking of, yep, yep, yep. I seen two crows. Matter of fact, doesn't crows represent? How long? I'm almost an hour. Oh, goodness. Okay, let me see. I think crows is um crows. Come on, before my phone die. Crows. Spirit animal. Change and transformation. It refers more to a spiritual or an emotional change. It gives us insight on situations around us and help us adapt. Wow, crows represents change, death, and rebirth. To self-reflect, be open to change, and be open to listening to messages from the spirit realm. It is a good omen. It means good news. So there is good news coming. Represents intelligence, destiny, mystery, adaptability. Oh, this shit says if you see a pair of crows, in which I did. It symbolizes good luck or good fortune. Now, if you see six crows, that represents bad luck or danger. But if you see one single crow, it could be a warning about something small. The meaning is, there is a mysterious meaning behind the number of crows. So this could be crows, it could be any sort of bird. Yeah, look, I owe you an apology. So there's something definitely for sure about an apology. And look, female air sign. Okay. Being done with placeholders. And letting your mind be at ease. Move your spine, stretch daily. Oregon could be significant. And yes, yeah, somebody definitely was abusing their power. Summertime.
Okay, it says Oregon. Look at you getting shit done. Skinny female. pull some of these and then I'm going to end it because I've been going long. What is it? Go Dells or Genesis pants first thing. The next thing is if you want to wear them, I guess you can because it don't look too bad, but I need you to put on shorts for bed. Go ahead. Okay, well go look in your room. Look in the drawer with all of the shorts in it. Okay, crock pot. Peck. Old King Cole, bungee jumping, and iceberg. Transportation could be significant. Tattoo. Astronaut erupt the bee's knees and the karate kid. Damn, this says homeless, saved by the bill. A feather, a bird's feather could be significant. Ant eater scream, foot loose, head butt, spear key. Okay, we have Eraser, China, Cook, Smoke and Mirrors, Batgirl, and then we have a Volcano Erupting. So there could be, I don't know, some shit going on in Oregon if they even... The rainbow is shining after the storm. So it's like they're telling you everything is going to be okay. And I'm leaving it here. <laughs>